Hi, my name's Noel Toomey and I'm from Cork. In 2011, I went for a journey across the city to see the galleries and the exhibition spaces on Culture Night. Now, I'm not trained in visual arts, but to me, it was an inspiring experience. So this year, I want to take it up a notch and I want to go on a pilgrimage of these galleries and these venues. And I want to meet the curators, I want to meet the artists, and most of all, I want to meet the visitors of these venues to see how the arts is doing in Cork and to see how important arts are in people's lives. Join me on the El Camino de Cork Boy, Adventures of an Art Fancier. The perfect time for a curious novice like myself to see the arts in action is Culture Night. Culture Night is a highlight on the National Arts Calendar. This year, even more cultural and heritage spaces around the city participated. It's the one night of the year when everything is open late, and it's really inclusive because everything is free. The first stop on my journey is the Trisco. This is an internationally renowned multimedia art centre based in the heart of the city. I spoke to the artistic director, Tony Sheehan, to find out how the Triscoll is doing. You know, people are not shy, Cork people in particular are not shy about telling you what to do, and that's fantastic. Um, I mean, all of our, practically everything that we're doing between now and the end of October is going to sell out. And that's pretty amazing in this day and age. We reinvented ourselves in 2009 as an art centre because we realised that the old model of Triscoll had become stale and actually irrelevant. So the way we did that and the way we also responded to what were worsening economic circumstances for everybody in the arts was that we created a hub out of one part of the building and we uh, restored this beautiful church as a second part. So. Over in the old Triscoll, you now have several organisations with several artistic directors, including Pat Kiernan in Cork at Orca, Ian McInerney in uh, the Black Mariah. There's myself, and that's at least three. Uh, and then I, I would regard uh, Jim in Plowed Records as an artistic director as well, in as much as that he curates that record shop. Triscoll is quite a unique place now. Alan Collins took me to the Black Mariah. This gallery is an artist-led project and exhibition space. So it's a kind of visionary idea, visionary idea, yeah. of, idea of having and an this, art centre. This, yeah, this space was actually available for them, so they just moved in straight away. So they have, they're kind of, they are separate to the Trisk Art Centre itself, but they're in, in a part of it, you know what I mean? They have the space, this is theirs. They're really under the umbrella. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> It's reassuring to see a successful arts venue assert its place on the local social scene. But being in this space has brought back unanswered questions from last year's pilgrimage. Is art spiritual? What do I feel when viewing art in a gallery? Can art create community or bring us closer together as a society? And will visual art help our economy? There is research, um, the well-quoted Richard Florida research, which shows that cities which are liberal in their approach and which are supportive of the arts also tend to do well economically. And he quotes liberal cities such as San Francisco and New York and so on, where the artists are supported and nurtured. Those are the cities which also do well economically. And the reasons for that, partly to do with the quality of life, the attractiveness of those cities for industries, um, recruiting staff to those kind of companies which are situated in places that are pleasant to live in. Um, in Cork, we can equally say that. I mean, Cork has been um, listed among the Lonely Planet Guide two years ago as being in the top five places to live. So certainly Cork has all of the, um, I suppose, the attributes that one would expect of such a place. In terms of the economy, um if the economy is narrowly defined, then the arts would be would generate a certain amount of income, of turnover. Um, it would it would add a, a, an amount to our GDP. 
Uh, in terms of us, uh, the totality of us as a society, though, it's uh, invaluable. We're here to, to, to basically be part of the quality of life for the citizens of the city. Earlier, Tony mentioned the Theatre Development Centre in the Cork Adorca space. I head there to see Tom Campbell, a Cork-based artist and performer. I want to know where he feels art's place is in society. Yeah, I think art has definitely got some sort of... Well, it, it brings life, it brings hope, it brings a smile sometimes, or it brings... A, yeah, it just, it, it's got a lot that it can give. Do you believe visual arts has a large social impact to bring people together, to make people, you know, gather, form community? Yeah, I think... I think actually making art with people is a way of bringing people together or maybe maybe public art like I don't do much community art I have done some but that's whenever I've done that I've actually felt that I've um, made a difference to some people's lives All this talk of community helps me decide my next pilgrimage location Wandsford Key Gallery is run by Crawford College and is adjoined to the Backwater Artist Group and Cork Printmakers Studios. This is a stomping ground for up and coming artists and a great place to find out if art can really create community. Yeah, I suppose you could talk about value and in generating a kind of a participation in a community. Um, and I think things like visual art, music, poetry, they invite that involvement and that participation and confidence, I think, as well. Do you know, like, as corny as it sounds, I think those things bring people together and that's how things move and that's how things happen and move forward. So I think they're very important and I think they should be valued as such. I would hate for the arts to be squeezed out of that or to be to fall through the cracks or to to not be supported. Because I think I think we live in a society as much as we live in an economy, and I think a society thrives on culture and participation to move things forward. What brought you to the event tonight? Well, we heard about it and it's a great opportunity to go and see places you normally wouldn't see. So mm -hmm. culture nice, you get out, you go and see, we've been up to printmaking that we would never have done. Great fun. Ronan did some, didn't you? Yeah, there was the printmaking inside where you carve it out in a graph paper, is it? Or, yeah, and you carve it out and then you put the ink over whatever colour you want and then you press it out onto a piece of paper and it just comes out like whatever. If you put a blotch of ink in it, it comes out with it. So it looks, it's really artistic but it's really fun at the same time. And what do you think art is for? I think it's for everybody, to be honest. And I think nights like this open up venues like this that you mightn't come to, or you might know existed. We found this place last year. We've been back since. We've bought art here. We've liked it, and it's just a fun place to come to. And this is why I'm, I'm kind of doing a pilgrimage of all the galleries as of last year. So I call it uh, Pil uh, El Camino, the Cork Boy. Okay, I like it. <laughs> so like it. It's, I'm going to do loads of galleries around the city. Art and, for the and, people, for the Camino Boy. Yeah, yeah. I, I like where you're going. And and and. How do you think um, art can benefit the community? I think it can benefit the community by getting people involved in it. If we think art is elitist, people won't get involved. Or if we think it's for, you know, the more bohemian, or, it's art is for everybody. And I think a night like tonight shows you that anybody can go. We had our hands covered in ink while ago, and it was good, clean fun. And we had two prints to take home with us. You can't ask for more than that. Again, I think it's uh, it's 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 encouraging to see it being embraced uh, or recognized as, 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 a, as a community um, 
or involving the community into 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 the arts because you know there is a the, the, um, certainly in fine art there's a moment where fine art can be can seem almost unattainable from um, the masses in a way where it becomes a language of its own and I where where it gets exciting for me is to when it does actually um, come back to the community level and where people do feel that they are part of it because at the end of the day the arts as it, it is simply a vehicle of for communication and um, and, and I think it, it's most effective when it reaches a broader number of, uh, of, of people rather than becoming a very sort of elitist um, language. Society's participation in visual arts comes from an intersection between the audience, the exhibition space and most crucially the artist. Generally, we only ever get to see the works that make it into the exhibition. So I found it intriguing to see the tools, brushes and half-finished creations around the studios. I mean, this, this for me, this is, this is, this is art, this is like... Uh you know, an installation of sorts. Maybe I'm just, I find this, this is good, but this, this is not something I ever see. Like it's, look at it like, I mean, all these colors underneath as well. I got to meet a few artists and ask what it's like to be working in the arts in Ireland today. These are tough times for artists in, in Ireland. You, do, you think it's, do you think it's a myth that to say that art thrives in a bad economy? Is it, or is it, is it, is yeah. that just a myth? Like it, it does in different ways. Like for me as an artist, yeah. Uh, actually, the hard times makes me more creative. Because at the end of the day, it's like I'm full of stress, full of um, you know depression, and <laughs> <laughs> so what do I have to do? There's nothing much that I can do. There's no jobs, and so yeah. what I have to do is put my head in my work, and, and and the more I put it, the more I create more stuff, you know. And if you had, if you had a kid, mm. would you want them to be an artist? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my father did to me, you know. My father was a sculptor, so I learned from him, and um, he didn't push me to be an artist. But it's like just growing up and seeing it and doing it every day, you know. And um, uh, actually, if I could choose, there's nothing else I could choose than to do what I'm doing. Because uh, at the end of the day, to me, it's like you know, just finishing one sculpture or whatever that I do. You know, it's, it's, it brings happiness, even though the money won't be there. But I mean, it's just like finishing it. I mean, it just keeps me going, you know. And it's nice to be an artist, but it's also like um, it's not it's not so easy easy a job, and then motivating yourself at times is pretty difficult, and then dealing with galleries and and then kind of pushing your work and saying trying to I always refer to it as blowing your own trumpet, so it looks saying look how good I am, and it's. If you don't really feel that good, if you're not that happy with what you're doing, it's like, oh my God, I don't want to blow my own trumpet here. Or, um, yeah, so that, I think being an artist is, uh, sometimes I love it and sometimes I hate it. And as far as making a living goes from it, that's hard. Like, that's, a, it's not a, uh, I don't know. It's not easy. And do you think that art thrives in, you know, in an economic recession, or is that a sure. myth? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I run a space in Athlete called the the Good Hatchery. I, I co-run it with another artist called uh, Ruth Lyons. It's an artist-led sort of space, I suppose, in the middle of nowhere. And that's heavily tied in with the recession in a lot of ways, in terms of accessing space and activating spaces that aren't used. I think, I think galleries are certainly in flux. I mean, the gallery is a very, very, very specific place with its own whole set of issues. 
Commercial galleries are being challenged by new spaces and new ways of exhibiting. Many have closed in the city, but there are still a few that are persisting in these lacklustre economic times. The Lavitt Gallery is Cork's longest established private gallery. I had a chat with Ita Freeney about the Lavitt and the importance of visual arts in Irish society today. For me and for a lot of artists who um, obviously are involved with it, it's a, it's a huge part. Uh, for the general public, we get a lot of people calling into the gallery uh, who really enjoy the um, the opportunity to come into the gallery. You have some people who come in and just enjoy seeing things. So people just enjoy coming in and browsing. You know, it's not all about even though we'd like it to be more about buying because it needs to pay our bills. People just like to come in and browse too. Um, and also some people come in and it's almost like a haven for them, but they like the quietness of a gallery just to come in. And um, so I suppose that's more for asking, answering uh, how important the gallery, but art, I think it is important, especially um, something that can lift the, the soul, I suppose. I asked her what she would say to the people of Cork. Keep looking at art, keep enjoying art, and um, don't be afraid to come in. You know, there's the amount of people uh, that have come into the gallery over the last while who have an idea of that art is expensive or it's not for them. Whereas we try and uh, let people know that there's a wide variety of pieces. We have craft items, you know, from all ranges of prices. And just come in, have a look, enjoy, and um, if you have the money, please buy and support your local galleries and uh, artists before it's too late, before any more galleries in Cork close. Across town is another commercial gallery called 2020. It may be small, but it has become relatively successful at curating, promoting, exhibiting and selling fine art. It's a commercial gallery's job to be a part of building the reputation of any one artist that they represent. Most importantly, it's about creating the funds for that artist to create more work. Because when, you know, the creativity and, and everything and the talent and all that has to be nurtured and it does cost money to produce art. How important do you think the arts are to the Irish economy? I think they're essential. I think they're absolutely essential. We can really build a, a, a reputation for ourselves and export ourselves to other economies based on arts alone. I think it would be, I think it's definitely one that I think it should be nurtured, I think it should be appreciated, and I think it should be valued. Leaving 2020, I started to crisscross my way back through the city. There is a great buzz in the town tonight. It feels like Cork has put on its party clothes and is getting into the swing of things. The crack on the street is tempting, but I know I must press on with my pilgrimage. I still have one final destination on my Cork Art Odyssey. Okay, this used to be the tax office. Now it's the Tactive Collective. It's uh, the sound of some studios and then there's uh, the fourth floor art gallery. So there's loads of collectives in here, different art scenes and, and loads and loads and loads of studio spaces. So we're going to go upstairs and look at their exhibitions and talk to some artists and talk to some people looking at their art, OK? It's fantastic to see how this collective of artists has reinvigorated this abandoned building and three floors of space blurred the line so much between exhibition and studio that at times I get confused. Now which is the best? The picture or the palette? You see? There's a good one, you know. 
the palette's nearly as good as the picture. I, I, I agree, like, because I, this, this robe, maybe I'm just so arty, I don't know what it is. No, but the, the, the palette is nearly as, I mean, the picture's really But do you think they're, they, they mean to include both of them together, as in... You're taking it too seriously against me. But this as well, I like this. This is, this is interesting, like. This is very interesting. <laughs> What do, you, what do you think art does for us? Whoa. The six million dollar question, I don't know. Um, I don't know, it makes us, takes us out of the dreary day-to-day -day stuff. It takes us, it makes us, helps us, helps the adults dream again. I think kids can dream easily, adults, it takes something to, we need a little bit of guidance or something to help us dream, I don't know. I think something. I, I don't agree. So. No, I, I think it's... Come in, come in, come in. I think they make, a, they make a wake, not the dream. No, I know, but <laughs> for me, sometimes you're working and, and you need to have you need to have an alternative. Yeah, If but, you work... Yeah, but that's the, that's the dream. Yeah. yeah, that's the dream. The, well, the, the reality is another, yeah. I think. I'm that's a, my I'm, thesis. I'm anyway. a builder. I, I work in... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'm a journalist. Though, so, so, yeah, yeah. so art But you're an artist as well. No, no. I'm just, a, I'm just helping. I'm just looking after. You. Okay. Um, but uh, so I'm a builder. I do very boring work all day. So I, for me, art helps me dream. <laughs> but I think that art awakes you. Yeah, sure, sure. No, you're right. It helps you think. It helps you. It helps you come out of your. See the reality from another perspective. Yeah. I mean. That's that's the. I mean, the difference it. between being awake or being uh, in sleep. Yeah. The dreaming is the perspective because okay, you dream the same things of the reality, no? Yeah. But you see them in another, uh, with another uh, glare, with another, you know, in a in a different way. But through art, uh, you can see that I mean that, that there are people, no? For instance, in that in that paintings, no? You can see there are faces, okay, but they are different from the faces that you see now, no? But still, they are more real than reality. That's my point. I mean. As my journey nears its end, my thoughts turn back to last year's unanswered questions. I mean, do you think art can help us in create a community? Like, oh yeah, definitely. Like, there's a very strong community here. Like, and it's not just visual art or like there's graphic designers, illustrators, dancers, uh, theatre. So, like, there's a very strong sense of community in South Studios. So, you know, it's it's it does yeah, definitely. Do you think that like Irish? Visual art and, and art in general can help the Irish economy. Uh, definitely, yeah, yeah. Like just, just for the cultural aspect, like you know, like there's a lot of potential there as well. Like you know, there's a lot of talent, strong talents that can be you know, expanded upon. You know. If they... But what do you think? Do you think art can be spiritual? Art can be sacred, not spiritual. I don't believe in spirits. I believe in the sacred. Which mm, is the secular dimension, I think. For a builder, can be is the house, this building, <laughs> or his, his children. That's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, each one of us has something that is sacred, I think. and everybody has it. There's not yeah, something yeah. that only artists has. Yeah. That's, mm. that's, no, that's, I agree. That's, that's, I agree. That's it's for true. everybody. It's yeah. good because kids like that, then they're not. Do you think there's good. a the sense of community or? It's fantastic. There's kids everywhere. There's family. Someone was just saying there that. You know, there's kids out in the street, and they were saying it's like an indicator species. You know, trout in the rivers, <laughs> kids in the streets. I mean, the city must be safe, must be, must be happy. That's, and, that's, that's a good point. My pilgrimage is over for another year, but some thoughts will stay with me. How art is not spiritual, but we treat it with the reverence of a sacred object that inspires emotions. What more evidence do I need to prove that art can create community than walking around on culture night? I believe Cork's focus on art is helping our economy and has been recognised internationally for it by being named one of the top 10 cities in the world to visit by Lonely Planet. All in all, the arts has given a lot to the city and has a lot more to give.
Okay, man. Well.